Nerve table, check. <laughs> Eating John's lunch for him, check. Shred new drapes! Check. Okay, that's everything on my to-do list for today. Huh? <laughs> Here, please send this off. In case you're wondering, I just sent that DVD I made of you misbehaving to Dr. Whipple. No, not Dr. Whipple. <laughs> I want to watch a really mindless game show featuring people dressed up as large chickens. I don't care what you want to watch, Garfield. We're going to watch Dr. Whipple. As you know, I specialize in teaching obedience to pets, especially cats who don't know how to behave and are lazy, rude, and impossible. I hear there are such cats. Yesterday on this show, I showed you one of the worst behaved cats I've uh, ever come across. Here's a tape of how kittikins used to be. <laughs> Hey, seems like my kind of guy. In fact, Kittikins looks kind of familiar. Since then, I have put Kittikins through my no-fail guaranteed pet obedience training, and here he is. <clears throat> Kittikins, would you like to chase this bird? Mm. No. Okay. <laughs> what <a> well <laughs> You see, you can train your disobedient pet with my exclusive line of DVDs, what? tapes, books, computer software, pet Don't food, worry, Garfield. I'm not going to order all that expensive item. equipment. <sighs> Good. For a minute there, I thought... Come on in. It's open. John, you didn't. You wouldn't. You couldn't. You did. Come with me, cat. Oh. Oh. Farewell, Odie. I'll be back. But I may not be me when I return. <sighs> John. How could you do this to me? Oh, what? good morning, cat. <clears throat> now, if you do as you're told, we can get through this in a hurry. After several hours of my training, you will be a tame, docile cat like Kittikins here. Why does Kittikins look so familiar to me? Huh? First training method, the sound chamber. This will instill in you a sense of warning if you misbehave. Don't, Don't, Don't mistreat puppies. Eat what you've been I'll be back in about an hour. No. All right, it's an hour later. Fine. We're off to a good start. Yuck. This is to break you of your atrocious habit of kicking small puppies off of tables. Whenever you kick the robotic puppy off, well, just try it and see what happens. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I'm not taking this lion down.
Oh, I know just how you feel, pal. And now it's time to eat. Why do I have the feeling this is the first time ever I'm not going to like doing that? Right here is your food. <laughs> Kitty Crunch, dry nuggets, styrofoam flavor, and here is my dinner. Prime rib with mashed potatoes, gravy, cream corn, and apple pie a la mode for dessert. Ooh, yum and double yum. You must eat your food and not eat my food. Because do you know what will happen if you try to eat my food? Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Oh, ouch. Ouch. That's right. If you try for my food, a half-ton safe will drop on you. So I noticed. Now, make the correct choice. Cat, every time you reach for the prime rib, the safe will drop on you. Don't you realize this? <laughs> Then why do you keep reaching for the prime rib? Because it's just the way I like it, medium rare. Good job. Now you've had the complete program. And somehow I su su survived. You'll be perfectly behaved when we do my TV show in one hour. <sighs> that was awful. In fact, it was worse than awful. It would have to get better just to be awful. Hi, Garfield. Hi, Kittykins. Hey, how do you know my name, Kittykins? Wait. You're Harry, that cat from my neighborhood. <laughs> That's me. Well, what are you doing pretending to be a tame cat named Kittykins? You're as bad as I am. I got me a job. I pretend to be a successful result of Doc Whipple's training, and every day he pays me my weight in tuna fish. He can afford that? Are you kidding? You know how much this guy makes off these stupid lessons he sells? How much does he make? Enough to pay you your weight in tuna. Well, that's a lot of tuna. Yeah, play along. Help him sell the stuff and you could have the same great job I have. Hmm. Which would I rather have? My weight in tuna every day? Or my integrity? Ooh, these moral decisions are hard. And now, the world's foremost trainer of problem pets, Dr. Wimble! Today you will see the results of my greatest challenge. Worst behaved cat I'd ever seen, Garfield. I put him through my extreme housebreaking program, and now you will see the results. <laughs> Garfield. Garfield, do you have any desire to mistreat small puppies? Do you have any desire to steal food or shred drapes? That cat has become so well behaved. We have to order Dr. Whipple's DVDs, tapes, and books. But we don't have a cat. Oh, very good, Garfield. Now, is there anything you'd like to do? Yes, this. <laughs> <laughs> Catch him! Going down. <laughs> that cat is not well behaved. I thought Dr. Whipple had trained him not to do things like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I have to go tend to, uh, matters. <laughs> Got it, you. Struggle all you want, cat. You ain't getting away. There he is, the cat who's trying to ruin my business. Who, me? Sweet, well-behaved me? But it won't work. The public is too stupid to catch on. Hey, so what if my training program doesn't work? They still send me tons of money. <laughs> Those idiots. I got a sweet racket going here, and you won't stop me. Dr. Whipple, they're hearing you on national television. They can't hear me. I left my microphone on stage. They can, uh... <laughs> Do you have any further words for our listening audience, Doctor? 
You miserable little... I'm taking my cat home, thank you very much. Thanks for the lessons, Doc. Dr. Whipple, the phone lines are jammed with customers canceling orders and demanding refunds. Why didn't you teach that cat how to behave? I did. Unfortunately, that's how he behaves. Garfield, I wanted to say again how sorry I am I sent you to that terrible doctor. Oh, I'd say uh, eight more apologies ought to do it. <sighs> well, Odie, I'm home and I'm still me. Dr. Whipple didn't whip me into shape the way you wanted. Oh, that reminds me, it's time for his show. The Dr. Whipple show, normally seen at this time, will never be seen again. Wow, this couldn't have gone better. Instead, stay tuned for a really mindless game show featuring people dressed as large chickens. I was wrong. That's better. Mind if I stop at the market and buy a few things? Mind? As long as they're edible, why should we mind? I think I'll take a nap while Odie sticks his head out the window and lets his tongue flap in the breeze. <coughs> hey, for a dog, that's heavyweight intellectual activity. Oh, I dream about some edible things. Boy, it's a beautiful night. A clear sky and all those stars. It's the kind of night that makes you wonder if there are people out there. <laughs> People on other worlds are from other times visiting us. Mother I'll be home in 90 nanoseconds, Miriam. Jeez, uh, Puffs, I got you a 500 year supply of those just 300 years ago. All right, all right. I'll pick up some before I get home. I'm going to have to stop off at Earth in the 21st century. Okay, okay. Get you a jelly donut, too. You'll have to wait just outside the door, Odie. Garfield, are you coming? I can't answer you. In addition to the fact that I can't talk, I'm also asleep. We'll be back soon. Okay. A 500-year supply of cheese puffs and a jelly donut. I guess that's a balanced diet. I know what you're thinking. It's just a little harmless spider, not hurting anyone. And you're right, of course. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna swat that spider! I got you now! No, I got you. Now! Okay, this time for sure. Okay, then this time! Okay, this is it, spider. You're toast! You're an ex-spider! You're gonna be flatter than one of John's souffles.
And why do I have the feeling I really don't want to know? John? Odie? Anybody I know? I'll even settle for Nermal. Hello, somebody! I don't know where I am, but I have the feeling they like cheese here. Ah, at last. Someone I know. Hey, Squeak. Boy, you are so not Squeak. Sorry, I just remembered to make an appointment to not be here now. We're here. I don't suppose it would do any good to mention that I never chase Mike. Guys, give me a break. I haven't eaten and it's dinner time. That's right, dinner time. Hey, I think they're taking me to dinner. This is great. This is not great. Oh, no. Ketchup. <gasps> oh, no. Lettuce and tomato. Hey, would you please hold the onion? Thank you. <laughs> I think this sandwich had better be to go. Must start it or turn on the CD player or something. Ooh. I don't like hairy sandwiches anyway. There must be some instructions in here somewhere on how to fly this thing. An instruction manual. I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved! Okay, how to steer craft. See page 19. Page 19, page... Ah, here it is, page 19. To steer craft, grab hold of the bleen and rotate it into the Zierman position for five freebs. I'm not saved, I'm not saved, I'm not saved! Another weird world. Who or what lives on it? It's probably some horrible monster even worse than those mice people. <gasps> Something's coming. One of those horrible monsters I know. Here it comes. It's gonna be the ugliest, most hideous thing in the universe. I just know it. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Garfield the cat. You can't be Garfield, I'm Garfield. Oh yeah? If you're Garfield, then answer me this. What do you do all day? I sleep, eat, and annoy small puppies. What do you do all day? I sleep, eat, and annoy puppies. Hey, hey maybe, maybe you, you are Garfield. Garfield. But, if, but you're if you're Garfield, Garfield then who am I? I know who you are. You're Garfield. Isn't there anything different about us? Well, there is this one thing. Every so often, I turn into one of these. horrifying, awful experience. And he was so cute up until the near end. I wonder where I'm gonna wind up now? Huh? Hey, I know this house. This is our house. This is where I live. I'm home, I'm home. It's almost time for lunch and I'm home. Hmm, from that smell, I can tell John's cooking up something wonderful. Garfield, what good timing. I have lunch ready. <laughs> you look shocked. Didn't you know we're all spider people on this planet? Aren't we, Odie? And I cooked you a nice fly lasagna. <laughs> 
No, no! And after we finish our flies, we're going to indulge in our favorite pastime. After him! Swat him the way he always swatted us! No, stop! I like spiders! I always like spiders! I never heard a spider. See? I'll even stoop to lying. Please, no! Don't swipe the cat! All done shopping, Odie. I hope Garfield wasn't too bored waiting in the car. You okay in there, Garfield? Garfield? Odie! Garfield's missing! <laughs> hey, mister! Have you seen an orange cat? Uh, my cat is missing! He's... What did you buy? A 500-year supply of cheese puffs. Why? Oh, never mind that. My cat is missing. Let me put these in my vehicle, and I'll help you look for your cat. Hey, not only is your cat gone, but so is my vehicle. <laughs> Maybe whoever took your vehicle took my cat. We need to call the police. No, you don't need the police. I have this remote homing device to bring my vehicle back when I lose it, or leave it somewhere. My only chance is to get back to that spaceship thingy car. Oh no! It's taking off without me! Oh, this is a waste of time. I'm calling the police to look for my cat and... I'm telling you, relax. See? <gasps> Garfield! Garfield, it's okay. You're back and you're safe. But I'm not. I need. I Okie dokie. You got your cat back. I gotta get home. I know. I don't know what happened either, Garfield. And I have a strange feeling we never will. Oh, confound it! I forgot Miriam's jelly donut! Garfield, do you ever stop eating? Mm, sure, when I sleep and when I take naps. See, that's exactly my point. When it comes to food, you lack willpower of any kind. Oh. <laughs> that's baloney. I could lay off food any time I want. If I really wanted to, I could do it. Yeah, right. Want a bet? <laughs> sure. I'll bet that you can't go one whole hour without eating anything. If you lose, you'll be my personal slave for a whole week. And what's in it for me if I win? <laughs> How about I stay away from your house for an entire month? Ooh, now you're talking. 
<laughs> it's 11 o'clock. The bet will end at 12. Good luck. It's only an hour. We're just talking 60 minutes, 3,600 seconds. It'll be over in no time. This clock can't be right. The hands aren't even moving. Congratulations, Garfield! You just made it through the first minute! One minute? That's all? But it feels like it's been an hour already. In fact, it feels like it's been three hours and 47 minutes. You're not giving up, are you? Heck no. As a matter of fact, I'm not even one bit hungry. <gasps> If you say so, see you later. Oh, 59 more minutes. This is harder than I thought. I gotta find ways to keep my mind off my stomach. I know, I'll watch TV for an hour. TV's always a good way to waste your time. I mean, use your time. I'm making chocolate milkshake. Oh. This has never been so easy, thanks to our new turbo-powered chocolate-making machine! Oh. Rick, did you find it? Yes, bacon and cheddar, your favorite. Oh. Ah. Oh, my. Oh. oh, no! Don't miss the new all-you-can-eat pizza buffet at Vero's! It's the best pizza on the planet! Let me I show you, you how pizza oh, oh, oh. should be made. Huh? I tasted myself to make sure this... Garfield? What on I earth are you doing? Yeah, uh, uh, oh, uh, there was uh, this unsightly blotch on the screen and it uh, just wouldn't go away, so I thought I'd clean. <laughs> oh, look! There, on the carpet! Definitely take more than a kernel of popcorn to turn me into your personal slave, Nermal. Oh, look at the time. Only 55 more minutes of not eating to go. <sighs> 55 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the longest hour of my whole life. I must find something to do that doesn't involve eating. Of course. I'll take a nap for the remaining 55 minutes. <laughs> I'm sure Nermal didn't see that coming. <sighs> and when I wake up from my little nappy poo, I'll be rid of him for 31 days in a row. <sighs> That's something to really look forward to. <laughs> Garfield, lunch is ready. Uh, huh? Yes, Master. Uh, could you just give me a minute? Huh? Ah! Okay, I'm feeling much better now. Really. Here you go, Odie. That one's for you, Normal. <laughs> And the big one's for... <gasps> Garfield? No. Triple cheese lasagna! <laughs> Thanks for rubbing the salt in my wound. Are you sure you don't want any? <laughs> no. <laughs> Fine. Who wants a second helping? Meow. 
I know you I want know what's, want inside, what's of inside, of inside of me. Oh my! Open, Open me. me. Eat us, Garfield. Eat us, Garfield. We miss you. Don't you love us anymore? Can't give up now. Must, must resist. Yes, yes. You'll feel better. Stop. Eat us, eat us. You'll feel better. Eat, 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 I made it! I won! I won the bet thanks to my amazing willpower! Yippee! Oh, congratulations. You win. I'll keep my part of the bet. I won't set one foot in this house for a whole month. <laughs> Food's never tasted so good. Mm. Uh. <clears throat> oh. Mm. I don't feel so hot all of a sudden. Oh. 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 His temperature is normal. I think it's just a mild case of indigestion. Oh, no, I'm, I'm fine, really. Uh, do you think I could have one of those uh, cookie thingies now? I don't think so, Garfield. <gasps> don't give him any solid food for the next 24 hours, just to be on the safe side. 24 hours? you got to be kidding. I barely made it through one. to respect our bet and stay out of this house for one whole month. You could have helped me with this enormous chocolatey 
Yummy. Ice cream. <laughs> no. I was just indulging in one of my favorite <laughs> pastimes, uh, sleeping. Which reminds me, we get a lot of letters here asking me to name my 10 favorite things in the whole world to do. Well, here they are in no particular order. May I have the screen, please? Number one, sleeping. Number two, eating. Number three, sleeping and dreaming about eating. Number four, and this one's a tricky one, eating while sleeping. Number five, sleeping on my other side. Number six, mailing normal to Abu Dhabi. Here, uh, notice I did not mark it fragile. Number seven, eight, and nine are all more eating. Which brings us to number 10. Number 10, my favorite thing in the whole world to do. And amazingly, it involves neither eating nor sleeping. It's watching Odie being tormented by squirrels. I love it. I shall now demonstrate. Watch. This is going to be your favorite thing in the whole world, trust me. This is great. <laughs> oh, you <those> squirrel. <laughs> you can come out now. The squirrels are gone. You earned that bone, Odie. On behalf of myself and the audience, thank you for giving us such a good time. Audience squirrels, you just can't get enough of them. <laughs> Fine job, everyone. <laughs> that must be the stupidest dog in the history of stupid dogs. <laughs> that dog has the brain size of a walnut. <laughs> More like a cashew. <laughs> And now, we're going to show you something you've never seen before in your whole life. I've seen this. This just in. Today, a man in Sweden set a new hippopotamus biting record when he successfully bit one hippopotamus. 
tied for second place is everyone else in the entire world. Ah, boring. 637 channels and nothing to watch. Ah, if only my favorite thing in the world was happening right now. Hey, I know that bark. That's Odie's I'm chasing squirrels and I'm about to make a fool of myself bark. Yes, yes. Quick, everyone, out the back way. It's Odie time. Scoring at home. That's OD1, squirrels 783. I can't watch this. It's too horrible. Yeah, he's a goner. Poor devil. Such a fine, brave squirrel. There's nothing we can do for him. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Oatster. The bushy tailed one here is just in shock. He'll wake up any minute now. Just give him time. Hey, what are you doing? Nah, we don't want that in the house. John doesn't like having unconscious squirrels in the living room. I don't want to have anything to do with this. Before. Is this a common event? Oh no, this is most unusual. As a matter of fact, this is a first. No dog in history has ever actually caught a squirrel. This is a tragedy. I see. So would you say that the future of squirrels as a species is in jeopardy? Oh yes, definitely, definitely. It looks like we are at the end of an era and that we will all have to move to dog-free territories. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have some packing to do. Take me with you! I don't want to move. I like it here. Yeah, maybe we could talk to the dog, make peace with him. After all the rotten things we've done to him, don't be foolish. He must hate our guts. We can try. What do we got to lose? 
<laughs> oh, no! He's tasting me! He's gonna eat me! <laughs> what? You wanna shake paws with me? Yeah, yeah. After all the crummy things we've done to you? <laughs> yeah. That dog won't want to make peace with us. We have to try. What if he tries to eat us? No telling what he's done to our friend. He's... <laughs> <laughs> Away. Let's get you out of here. Make a run for it. Hey, I'm playing with my new friend. Your new friend? But he's a, a, a dog. What can I say? We had him all wrong. Him and probably all dogs. Good boy. Am I a schizophrenic? Of course not. And neither am I. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. And neither of you is worth watching. Oh, what to watch, what to watch. Could it be? Is it possible? It sounds like Odie's chasing squirrels again. The best buy for your entertainment dollar. We are forever your humble servants, oh wise one. Odie, wise? What color is the sky in your world, squirrels? Odie's idea of an intellectual pursuit is chasing his tail for an hour. How dare you insult our friend? Are we gonna let him talk like that about Odie? Apologize! I will not! Okay, brothers, get him! Hey, get off me! What do I look like, a bag of almonds? Stop! Stop! No! Hey, oh, no! Well, it looks like my favorite show's been canceled. No more Odie chasing squirrels. But when you get bad news, that's the time to put on a happy face. <laughs> <sighs> and if you don't, sometimes someone will put one on for you. Sunday buffet at Vito's. Best pizza in the whole universe. Ooh, sounds good. <laughs> Must be that brand new waffle machine I ordered last week on the shopping channel. Yeah, but what the heck? Where's my waffle machine? They must have mixed up orders. Now I'm officially miffed. Telepathic Helmet. World's first telepathic gadget that allows you to read other people's minds. Batteries included, made in China, blah, 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 blah. Bogus, fake, phony, unsightly. Hey, what did... Well, I might as well give it a try. Let's see. 
Flick the power switch to on, then find someone and use the green knob to tune into their most inner thoughts. Huh? <laughs> Maybe I need to crank up the volume a bit. Ugh, tch, knew it. This stuff doesn't work. Just like the silly x-ray glasses they sell in comic books. Need cup of coffee now. Whoa, who would have thought that? This stupid helmet actually works. Oh, I should have known better than to use Odie to set the volume. That dog is totally brainless. Hiya! Here's your favorite freshly baked morning lasagna. <laughs> uh, uh, I hope he won't notice I cooked him some... Frozen lasagna, huh? Did you really think you could get away with this? Police. Uh, I can explain. The grocer was out of cheese. That cat is way too smart. Lucky he doesn't know about the carrot cake I hid behind the milk carton and the... Meow. Stop treating me like a baby. I can cross the street by myself. I'm five years old. Oh. <laughs> He never looks at me. I'm so in love with her. <laughs> I'm the cutest cat in the whole wide world. Do -do 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 -do. La -la -do -do -do. I'd know that thought from anywhere. Hi, Nermo. <gasps> that ice cream sure looks yummy. Do you mind if I have a tiny lick? Actually, I would. I've been selected as one of the finalists in the cutest cat pageant, and I don't want to catch anyone's germs before the final judging, especially yours. <laughs> if Garfield doesn't notice I'm wearing eyeliner, maybe the judges won't know either. Hey, Nermal, those contests usually have a rule against makeup. It would be a real shame if the judges found out you were wearing eyeliner. <gasps> how, how did you know about the eyeliner? I didn't tell anyone. <laughs> oh. And we doubt we'll find it on Earth. This planet is way too primitive. We must report to Emperor Calizone at once. Meet me in the alley and make sure no one follows you. Affirmative. Hmm. I have no idea what they're up to, but I'd better keep an eye on them. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Holy manicotti! They're aliens posing as humans! This better be good. I was only halfway through the Sunday comics. Our lifelong quest across the galaxies hasn't been in vain, my master. They have found it on a small planet they call Earth. Vito's Restaurant. Best pizza in the whole universe. Go now and investigate further. And if indeed this pizza is the best in the universe, we shall invade Earth and force Earthlings to cook millions of pizzas for our own planet. <laughs> yes, your bicephal is highness. Wow. The fate of our planet and our pizza is on my shoulders. I better go warn Vito. Who knows? Maybe I can get a free lunch out of it. Where do you think you are going, Garfield? Vito, you have to let me in. Some nasty aliens are on their way, and they're after your pizza. What's the matter? You can't read the new sign on the door. Okay. All you can eat for $6.99 does not apply to orange cats whose names begin with G. Hardy har har, very funny. Now, you gotta excuse me, I got us some customers. 
Oh, good evening. Please uh, come in. Oh, we're looking for the best pizza in the universe. <laughs> and you come to the right place. You come this way. So, what kind of pizza do you like? Oh, <laughs> all of them. Oh, you must be really hungry, no? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> You like? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, everything except this. Oh, you don't like the anchovy. These things are highly toxic uh, to our kind. I make the pizza without anchovies. <gasps> they don't like anchovies? No, no, and no. Oh, but we haven't tried the Hawaiian and Vito's special. Look, lady, I tell you for the thousandth time, it's already 20 minutes past the closing time. You go now. This human is annoying me. Can I eat him now? Don't. His pizza really is the best in the universe. Let's report to Emperor Calzone at once. I hate sci-fi. Aliens or no, I don't make any more pizza. Where is my pizza? Let me handle this, my bicephalous highness. Greetings, Earthling. The superior and unique taste of your pizza is legendary across the universe. Emperor Calzone himself has traveled across the whole galaxy just to give it a try. Really? If he likes your pizza, he'll want to export it across the Milky Way. We're talking major interstellar distribution here. Of course! You give me 15 minutes, and I'll bake him the best pizza in the whole universe! <laughs> what are you doing here? Vito, you can't cook for them. They want to take over the Earth? Why you try to wreck Vero's masterpiece? Is this got to be my best? Think of the free publicity if Emperor Calzone, he like my pizza! <laughs> if only he could understand the aliens like I do. Of course. Why didn't I think of this earlier? <laughs> hey, what do you think you are doing? Those Earthlings are so gullible. <laughs> when are we taking over their unsightly planet? As soon as Emperor Calzone has tasted their pizza. Now I see. We gotta do something. I second that. Anchovy, of course. We're gonna cook them a pizza and they'll never forget. <laughs> Uh, he is my helper. Treason! You tried to poison your emperor! But, but, your bicephal highness, uh, we, I... I am sending both of you to work in my uranium mines on the dark side of Valdebaran. I'm canceling the Earth invasion. We'll come back in a few thousand years to see if the Earthlings have improved on their cooking. This is the worst pizza 
in the whole universe. <laughs> Okay, I guess I owe you that much. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope you're still hungry, cat. Bring it on. <laughs>